What's up everyone, Kevin Oak here. Just getting into another video. Um, decided to record everything from my upper body workout so that I can put it in one kind of video to show you guys what I'm doing as of now. Um, so yeah, I just wanna do a quick intro. I'm really gonna try to keep it short for once instead of like 10 minutes. But um, just an update on me. My body weight was 228 this morning, which is the lowest I've been in a long time. So that's good. Um, currently, I've just made some diet changes. Um, obviously, I'm in a caloric deficit to lose that much weight. When I started a little over a month ago, almost five weeks, I was 253. So I'm down 25 pounds overall, um, which is a lot. But um, obviously, the amount of a, of a caloric deficit that I'm in isn't for performance at this point. So it's not something like I'm recommending to people like, oh yeah, just lose 25 pounds and like you'll still be strong and all that. That is not what I'm saying at all. I specifically had goals to just get leaner fairly quick. That's why I was in such a huge caloric deficit. My strength is definitely down. So I'm not gonna sit there and be like, oh, I just lost 25 pounds and I'm Superman and blah, blah, blah. That is not the case. Although my strength is much higher than I thought it would be. Um, I have retained most of my strength, which is great because once I do start to prep, I should be able to get back to strength or close to strength pretty quickly. Um, and speaking of prep, the tribute meet is in 13 weeks, I believe. I'm hoping I can start my official comp prep in about three weeks. So <clears throat> I'm going to diet up until that moment, basically. Once comp prep starts, I'm going to up my calories, but not to where they used to be. I'm probably never going to eat how I used to just because it was giving me a lot of issues. I was very bloated. I was very inflamed. I was always pretty much, pretty much my joints were swollen from my diet, amongst other things, obviously. I'm training heavy, but um, I've definitely made some huge nutrition changes. I've cut out dairy for the most part. I have cut out sugar from things like sugar and soda from things like candy and soda and stuff like that um i'm eating a little bit more vegetables not a lot but more than zero <laughs> more than zero is good um but my diet has changed a lot i'm drinking a lot more water every day i'm going on longer walks i'm doing cardio on my gym session so i'm just living a healthier lifestyle at the moment um, I don't plan on losing much more weight on this diet. Basically, the goal would be, once I start training again, I'm going to slowly add back calories, right? Um, I'm sure I'll get to 235, 237-ish pretty quick. The goal is going to be to see what weight I have to get to to feel pretty strong, basically. So, first couple weeks are kind of going to be like testing, but... Ideally, if I don't need to go over like 237-ish to feel strong again, I'll probably stay there. And then I would cut to 220 for the tribute. If I feel weak at 237, then I'll keep continuing to add calories back. And I'll probably get back up into the 240s, in which case I would just compete at 242. So it really is going to come down to feel. I can't, there's no way of me knowing yet exactly how I'm going to feel at different weights. So... It's going to come down to just testing out and just seeing how I'm reacting to the amount of calories I'm on and how training's going. But that is the goal as of now. But um, as for this specific workout, if you've been following me, you know I've had the bicep tendon issue where the bicep connects to your shoulder. So um, I've been doing isometric bench. This is probably the first time I've put in a YouTube video actually, but this is something that my PT, David Joe, has prescribed to me to help me work on my bicep tendon in a bench position in the hardest part of the bench position for my bicep tendon, where I'm not actually moving my joints that much. The joints are staying in the same exact plane, they're not moving, but you're still using the muscle. So for him, he says that's a much safer way to kind of get back to being able to bench. So that's what I've been doing. That's what I did for, I forget how many sets, four or five sets, I think four sets, where I'd be pushing into the pin for about 10 seconds. And then I would take a five second break, I would do a couple reps, that would be a set. I did four sets total. <clears throat> After that, I went on to one arm seated dumbbell shoulder presses. Couldn't go very heavy because I just haven't really done shoulders a lot lately at all. I'm kind of just getting back into it because of the bicep tendon, obviously. Um, I have an overhead press in probably like two, three months. 
So shoulders definitely feel a lot weaker than they were, obviously, but I'm starting to get the strength back. So that's why I was working on that. Um, doing it the way I do it, obviously, it's gonna it's gonna work your core like a little bit. It's gonna force you to stabilize as well. Um, if I was doing it both arms at the same time, sitting on something where I have a back to push against, <clears throat> it obviously would be a lot easier to do way more weight, but it's not necessary at this point, so I didn't do that. Um, after that, I got into push-ups, and I could do a lot more push-ups than I was doing, but what my PT wants me to do is I'm doing them a certain way where my hands are lower on my chest, which is mimicking the bottom of a bench press as well. And that's the range of motion, mobility-wise, for my bicep tendon where I have the most issues. David wants me to do it in that specific position. He wants me to go until I feel like slight pain and then just stop immediately. So first set, I was able to get to 12 reps pretty quickly, obviously. And um, once I got to around 12, I started feeling pain, so I stopped. So each set after that, I just went till I felt like a like slight, very slight pain and I would just stop. So I was hitting like 12, I think I hit like 12, 11, and then two tens or something like that. That's what I could do. Painless, so that's what I did. <clears throat> um, and then after that, I just did tries, and um, I did biceps, but I did reverse grip biceps because it just hits forearms a little more. Um, my biceps are relatively overdeveloped compared to my forearms, so the majority of the time I do curls, I do it with reverse grip just to hit my forearms a little bit more, but you know, overall at this point, what I'm trying to do is I'm... I'm starting to build strength back in my upper body a little bit, but still the focus is on recovery. So even though I'm starting to add a little weight here and a little weight there, I'm stopping short of being in pain. So we're not pushing into like that pain threshold. We're not really trying to like, I'm not trying to kill sets. I'm not trying to go all out on sets. I'm doing what I can painless so that I can recover so that, that I can be as healthy as possible once this training cycle starts. So. That's where I'm at. That's what's going on. Um, yeah, obviously for all the clothing that I wear, barbellcommissionapparel.com. And if anyone needs coaching, just email growoakstrong at gmail.com. That's it.